True. Okay. And right away, he's attacking you. You're a realtor. I mean, it's not like being a communist or something, you know, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Don't go political. What is this political <laughs> Monday? My God. Um, okay. So basically, you want to turn it into humor if you can. Go ahead. You do that to me. Um, uh, gee, how long have you been trying to sell this property? Uh, are you, why, 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 why are you asking me that question? I, I mean, have no I, life. I'm just curious as hell. This is what I do all day. I call up people and I find out about this. I've got to get a, I got to get a job, a real job or something. Seriously, sir, I'm just curious. Uh, the reason I asked you that is sometimes when people have trouble selling a home, uh, they're looking for alternative solutions. And I'm a great idea guy. I got a few ways. You wouldn't want to sell your home today, would you? I have a few really good ideas. Um, I mean, I, I, I want to sell a home, but you're, you're not a realtor, are you? I can be whatever you want, sir. Tell me what you want. I'm 5'8". If you want, I'll become 6'2". Whatever, <laughs> tell me whatever you want. Uh, okay, but are you a realtor? Can you answer my question? I, yes, I don't want to work. If you're a realtor, I don't want to work with you if you're a realtor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm glad my wife, my wife said the same thing on our first date. Um, seriously, I can be a private investor. You're having a bad day, aren't you? Time to switch the decaf, by the way. Um, I can be a real, I am a realtor. I'm also a private investor. I'm also a consultant. And you have a problem, sir. Do you know what it is? What? You're, you're, you got a kind of a stinky little attitude and I'm trying to do business <laughs> with you today. I want to give you a lot of money. Should I get off the phone and we'll do this all over again at another time? Yeah, let's just get off the phone. Sounds good. Before I get off the phone, boom. See, then you take, it's, it's over when you say it's over. Have fun. Listen, you're going to, this guy's got it. When you get this guy on the phone, have fun with him. This is lesson time. Here's a, here's a rule. You cannot close everyone. You know those gurus who say everyone's a prospect. That's not, that's the greatest lie of all time. Not everyone is a prospect. Some people just are having a bad day and they're looking for someone to dump on. This is a guy who's probably not a bad guy. He's just had a lot of bad experiences and conversations. How many people here have been interrupted at dinner with, a, with dopey phone calls? All the time. Okay, all the time. How are you going to treat the next person who interrupts your filet mignon hot off the grill? He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Yeah. Okay, they're not bad people. They're just tired of this marketing and this banter and these scripts that our people use. So reinvent it. So you can go for a yes, you can go for a quick no, you can, you can get, kick, get your butt kicked a little, or you can get a lesson. In this case, maybe get a lesson. Call the guy back in two weeks. Hi, Mr. Dennis, Claude Diamond here, remember me? Yeah, I'm, you, well, who are you? I'm Claude Diamond. You and I had a fascinating conversation two weeks ago. And my, my notes here say to give you a call back. And I always do what my notebook says. Um, the home is, got, is, is, is the home, the home couldn't be available still, could it? No, are, are you a realtor? Um, I, and last time I said that, you jumped all over me. So I'm not going to, no, I'm just Claude today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, yeah, you know what it, you know what it is, Claude. And I was doing 